The unfortunate reality, the cold, hard truth, is that we as a community are not as healthy as we could be. And just about every health and wellness indicator for our community is pointing in the wrong direction. 21% of Staten Island is smoke compared to 16% of the rest of the city. We are 33% more likely to suffer from heart disease, 37% more likely to suffer from chronic respiratory disease, 9% more likely to binge drink in high school. Our rate of heart disease is 378 out of 100,000 people compared to 283 uh, out of 100,000 in New York City as a whole. Nearly 75% of Staten Island residents can be considered either overweight or obese, therefore increasing the risk of diabetes by two to four times and dramatically increasing the risk of heart disease. How can we as an office not take a moment, part of our day, part of our week, part of our month, part of the four years here at Borough Hall to try to equip, educate, and encourage people to take back control of their lives, to help reinvigorate the notion of personal responsibility, to have those people who want to regain control over their own health and wellness. I wanted to find someone who could be the per point person in, in this mission, someone with the same passion for this fight as I have, but someone with a whole lot more knowledge and experience doing it. And that's why I am so proud and so pleased uh, today to announce uh, that Dr. Ginny Montello will be the new Director of Health and Wellness here at Borough Hall. Ginny will help us as an office institute policies to help educate Staten Islanders and promote healthier lifestyles. This may include helping small businesses who want to institute wellness programs for their employees, hosting community education events and fairs, and many other initiatives that will be announced in the coming months. The borough president and I, um, well, we share a common passion, that of improving the health and wellness of our community. And it, I think it is this passion that brought us together. Health is physical, mental, and emotional well-being. And our goal at this office will be not only to motivate the people, but to empower them with knowledge so that they can become proactive in not only taking responsibility of their own health, but that of their children and of their community. I think that the, the message here um, should be that lifestyle choices can make all the difference. Good health actually comes with good choices. And inside each and every one of us is the perfect health. We just have to find it. This office is, is, is making health its top priority. Uh, we will work in partnership with, with small businesses, um, with educational institutes, with the hospitals, um, with, with um, healthcare providers, and, and with the parents, um, with the individuals, with, um, uh, with people in the community. I want to applaud the doctor, the borough president. This is a great step for the people of Staten Island. So I'm really excited to be here because health and wellness is a big part of my life. I really want to encourage other teens and youth that they can do it, and I'm the living proof. It's all about eating healthy and just working out and starting to like, create a healthy lifestyle. And I strongly, strongly believe that Borough Hall has a role to play in improving the health and wellness of Staten Islanders.